ever have a velocity time graph? To find the acceleration, what do you do is you always find the gradient because gradient as in rise over run. So when you find velocity upon time, change in velocity divided by change in time, that gives you your acceleration. But if you'll talk about finding the distance from here, what do you do? Try to recall finding the distance. Distance or displacement is simply the product of velocity and time. So in that case, you must have learned that to find the dis distance or the displacement, we find the area below the curve. So finding the area is actually connected with integration, correct? We find the area under the curve when we are integrating or the purpose of integration is to find the area under the curve. Why? Because when you know that the gradient function is something, then with the help of the gradient function, when you want to find the original function, out here velocity, it's the gradient of, it's the change of distance with time or displacement with time. So if you know the velocity and you want to find the distance back, that is when you'll have to integrate. So always remember that if differentiation takes you forward like if you have your distance time graph from the distance time graph you find the gradient or you do you differentiate the distance function to get the speed function or the velocity function and then when you differentiate the speed function that is when you get the acceleration correct but when you want to go backward when you have the acceleration function and when you want to find the speed function that is when you will integrate and similarly when you have the speed function and you want to go backward to find the distance that is again when you'll integrate. So coming in the forward direction you are differentiating and going in the backward direction you are integrating.